Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about how to apply for your nail license in Connecticut. Your nail license, your eyelash and esthetician license. Recently in Connecticut, they changed the law and you have to be licensed in order to perform nail services. We were the only state that was not licensed for a very long time. So last year, I wanna say July, 2020, that law changed. Many people fought for that for many years. So it finally came to fruition. Now, when I went on the website, I was having a really difficult time trying to figure out how to apply for this license. So you can apply for a combination or you can apply for just your nail license or eyelash extension or just esthetician. It depends what you are licensed to do. Uh, I went on the website and the website is, I hope you can see my screen, it's e-license, so it's spelled e-l-i-c-e-n-s-e dot c-t dot gov. This is for Connecticut. So once you're on the website, you're going to scroll down I'll try to open that up so you could see. You scroll down to the page and you're going to use my, click on initial license. No, not, sorry guys, I'm right-handed. Okay, so on my page, the last thing that you search for will be at the top of the page. So because I have already gone through the process, it's going to show up. So when you are here on this home page, you're going to go to my account, which I already have set up. If you don't have an account, that's the first thing you're going to do. You're going to create a logon. You're going to create an account with a password. They're going to email you. You're going to confirm that that's you. And then you're going to come back. So you'll go out of this. You'll check your email. You'll come back to the website or go through the link, I believe, that they sent me. It's been a little while. I really wanted to do this sooner than, than later. But you'll, you'll get the gist of it once you start going. So once you get your log on, you're going to log in and you're going to go to initial application and i did didn't see anything that said nails didn't say anything for esthetician nothing it doesn't show anything so how are you to know so i did my due diligence and i called i got a wonderful person at the state of connecticut that walked me through it so i'm helping you guys out to save you some time. So you're gonna go to appearance enhancements. And there you go. I mean, I spent time trying to figure this out. So I hope I'm saving you a whole bunch of time. So here we have start, combination license, nail technician, esthetician, or eyelash tech. Then you have esthetician or eyelash. I already did, this account already has an active credential for this license type, so I would not be able to do that. So you're gonna click on, let's say I don't have a combination license, just for the sake of the video. It will say, please only use this application if you are applying for more than one license type, esthetician, eyelash technician, and or nail technician. If you intend on only getting one of these three licenses, please do not use this application. Rather, click close and save 
button at the bottom right corner of the screen when you get back to the main page select initial application expand the appearance enhancement grouping and then start next to the single license for which you want to apply if you have already submitted an application for esthetician eyelash technician and or nail technician do not proceed please contact the office at dph.apen at connecticutct.gov. Please note that if you are applying for two of the three licenses, the application fee will be $100. If you apply for all three licenses, the fee will be $200, meaning if you are applying for two of them, let's say you you are an eyelash technician and a nail technician, it's going to be $100. If you are going to apply for esthetician, eyelash technician, and nail license, it will be $200. Regardless of whether you obtain two or three licenses, the renewal fee will be $100 every two years. So your license is good for two years. As part of this application, you will be required to upload a recent photograph of yourself and completed verification of experience forms and or certificates of completion of approved education, appropriate education. Please make sure that you have these documents saved to the device you are using to submit the application. So what I did was when I did my application process, I created my account. I can log in, uh, let's see, my account. No, I'm trying to see where I can log in to show you guys. It's asking me, do I wanna change my password? No, I don't. Let's go back home. I don't see where the logon is, but I know that I was able to log in. User ID and password instructions. So on the home page, you can renew or you can user ID and password instructions. It will walk you through all of that. So then you're going to click on the initial application and you apply, you do everything online, everything is done online, you, you pay for it, you'll get an email, and in the email, you get your license in the email. You will have to print that yourself, okay? Um, it was pretty easy once I realized that I had to go through the appearance enhancements and not barber or hairdressing because I thought that's what it would be under and it was not so it wasn't very clear I really hope that you know this helps someone because I was looking for videos and I could not find anything that showed you how to do it so there you have it it's elicense.ct.gov that's the website you're going to go to your name I'm already logged in so that's why I couldn't log in before. And then I I wanted to talk a little bit about this light that I have. I haven't used it yet. It's a LED ring. Hubby bought this for me, I guess at Marshalls for $12.99, comparable at $26. You see it here. It has a little uh, switch. You turn it on. And it has different settings. I have not used it yet. You can, it has a little uh, phone holder here. I really don't know how to use these. So if anybody has one and has used it and can help me out with that, I would appreciate it if you can leave me a comment below or any suggestions on how to use this uh, LED ring. And, um, 
I hope that you go ahead and apply for your license if, if you didn't know how to do it and are excited to do so. Get it. If you are a technician, absolutely get your license, get your certificates for everything that you've studied hard for. I wish everybody luck. God bless. See you in the next video.